Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to a TD Mobile feature video. TD Mobile is for building and deploying mobile business software. TD Mobile apps run on any smartphone, on any tablet, and on any tablet computer that you want them to run on. Additionally, TD Mobile apps do run on all laptop and desktop browsers. In this video, I'm going to show you how to you can leverage device features like GPS, photo video, maps, phone, text messages, and email. You can actually retrieve the current GPS position of the device. That also works for laptops and desktop computers. You can pass the current GPS position to your backend operation to store the current work location of a uh, person, for example. You can open the Maps application with the current GPS position. You can take a photo or video. You can upload that photo or video for further processing. And of course, you can create links to maps, phone, email, text messages based on data coming from backend operations. So basically, you can create very touch intuitive applications that make data that is coming from the database very intuitive to use on a tablet or a smartphone. So let's say you want to do things like that with this touch application. For example, on this screen, I can actually retrieve a customer based on the customer ID that has been entered in this field here and get the customer data from the database. Now I have retrieved the customer data and the address data has actually automatically been turned into a touch enabled maps link. So if I click on the link here, if I tap on the link, I shall say, then the maps application opens with that exact address. I can see that address. I can um, scroll in, uh, zoom in, zoom out of that um, location, create um, driving directions and things like that right from this um, application. Now go back to my app and you see also that there's a phone number and a cell number from this um, iPad here. I certainly can't do phone calls, but if I do a click on the cell phone number here, it will take me to the messages app and I can send uh, text messages. Other things, I can retrieve the current GPS position of the device. And you see here's the current GPS position and I have a hot link here as well. Now if I click on the Maps app again on the Maps link, I'm being shown the current location where this device is at. You can create an active customer list that has an overview of data coming from a database and all the addresses are touch active, all the phone numbers and all the um, cell phone numbers are active to send text messages to look at the address right away in the Maps application. In the image demo, you can go ahead and take a photo or video or choose an existing. Uh, go ahead and choose an existing from the camera roll here. I'm having an event photo that I want to store in the database. And now this image can be uploaded to a database. Now I do have the same app open on a smartphone. And now I can show you the phone links. So I guess, for example, your Salesforce is out in the field <clears throat> and they want to try to call a customer. They just have to tap on the phone number that has come from the database and press the call button here. Now let me show you how all this has been coded in the TD Mobile IDE. Remember that with TD Mobile, you have one application that will run on any smartphone operating system like iOS, Android, what, whatever you have. In, it will run on all tablet devices, again, regardless of what manufacturer or operating system. So in this application, you can see here on the left side is the application tree and there is a number of uh, application pages defined here like this P address page. And for this P address page, now let me click on the layout tab. And here you see basically the definition of this one of the screens that you have seen before on uh, an iPad on and on, on, on a smartphone. 
So what I did is <clears throat> there was a field for the company ID. One could enter the company ID here and then retrieve that customer. And then the data would be shown here in these fields coming from the database. And you can see here, these are blue items. So basically these are um, already linked to a um, database. And the link to a database um, works through a value bind in TV, TD Mobile. And the path to that value bind is bcustomer.address. So basically the, the customer address coming from the database is being displayed as a, a touch enabled link. And the touch enabled link is this link type here. If you set this to map, then the link information will be passed to the map application actually when somebody taps on it. Let's look a bit more at how this page actually works. Let me click back on the outline view here. And there you have a client and a server section. Let's have a look into the server section. There's an operation defined, get customer address. And that operation has parameters. It actually passes in the number, which is an ID. And that is being bound to a binding, which is an ID. So the binding is a very, con very um, important concept in TD Mobile. It's but the bindings are basically the glue between the front end and the back end. In the bindings, you define what um, data you are going to retrieve from um, the data center or the data uh, base. And then um, it's basically glue between the data field that is being displayed and the back end. And you can see here the parameter to that function, to that operation, is the ID. And the ID is based on this binding here. And this is exactly this binding here having the name ID. An operation also returns something. In this case, it returns um, a customer. In this case, customer is a um, class, a data type, data type defined as a class. If you look at classes, then you have the customer class here. This customer class only has instance variables, which defines it as a UDV. So you have company, address, phone number, and mobile number in this class. Go back to this page here. And then this operation, of course, has local variables that it needs for its local processing. And in actions, it actually connects to a database. It prepares and executes a SQL statement, select company ID from a company table where company ID equals the uh, ID name. And that ID is the name of the parameter here, which is in turn coming from this binding ID. And you will also see if you now go back to the page, and look at this, at the properties of this field, you will see that the value bind of this field here is the ID. So if you look at this, the, uh, the choice of, uh, of bindings for the value bind, then you will always notice, you see all the bindings that are de being defined for, defined for that page. So basically the input from this field company ID is being passed into the backend operation and then the database is being queried with the ID value here. Then the data is being retrieved, data disconnected, database disconnected, and an object, which again is a customer class, is being returned to the application. And here you see the return is a customer class and the binding is B customer. So you have a binding B customer here, which is company address, phone number, mobile number, which in turn comes from the database. So that's how you bind or you glue together the uh, back end and the front end operations of a TD Mobile application. Now let me show you how you can leverage the current GPS position of your device or um, computer position. So let's first look at the layout of this GPS page. You have seen that in the uh, live demo. So basically here, this field here has a value bind so there's a special value bind that we provide, which is called geolocation. So basically you just choose geolocation and then this field will be at runtime will be filled with the current GPS position. <clears throat> so here's a field that displays the current GPS position. And here's an active link <clears throat> that displays the um, current GPS position <clears throat> or back, basically that provides a link to the maps app using the current GPS position. So the link type here is set to map and the value bind is set to geolocation again. So this allows you to retrieve the current GPS position and use that GPS position to ease a path to the database or to show the current GPS position in the uh, maps application. 
And the nice thing with TD Mobile is that you can always test your application right away on your test desktop or laptop. You just press the go button and you can test the application. <clears throat> Here you see we are retrieving the data from the database, but re I really wanted to show you the GPS demo. Now the browser asks if I want to allow the GPS access, I do want to allow it. And now it finds out my GPS location. And if I now open this in the Maps app, it shows my current location in the browser app, which is correct. And you even see the entrance of my building here. Including the camera for taking videos or photos is quite easy as well. Let me show you that on the P image page and click on the layout tab. This one here, the image tab, the image um, data field here is actually set to be an input type of file. And an input type of file at runtime will open the camera for you. So a user application user can take a video, can take an image or actually choose an existing image or choose an existing video. And then you can uh, display that video or that image or you can upload that image to your uh, for further processing in the data center, basically. So here again, look, take a look at this um, page is quite easy. Actually, there's a binding, which is a binary, a B image. And I'm not doing any backend processing here. Just in the phone layout, I have set this field to be of input type file. And then I have another field here, which has a value bind with the pass of B image. So basically this field will display the image or the photo that has been taken. And you have seen that at the beginning when I did show the application. So including images is very easy um, with TD Mobile. The last page that you have seen in this application was the list of customers where you could tap on addresses and phone numbers to call a customer or to send a text message to a customer. So this is a slightly more complex page with a little more programming involved. Let's start with the outline and the binding. That's basically the key of everything here. There are two bindings. One is a class of customer, a single customer, and then there's an array of customers here. Both are defined as bindings. And in the phone layout, I did create something new that you have to, haven't seen before in the TD Mobile IDE here. I do have a list view defined and the list view is basically a scrollable list of um, items. And in that list view, I have um, background text like this one and this background text is set to, and here again in the value bind you see, be customers dot company. So the array of customers, the company element. element. And you know each element of that array will be um, placed below each other. And here, those guys here are actually um, not background text, but they are links. You've seen them before. And the link type in this case here is a map. And then there also is a value bind here, be customer .ad, be customers address. So the array type of uh, customers is set here. And here for the um, phone number, be customers phone number. So it's really that easy to create something quite complex. Now go, <clears throat> let's look at the server operations here because those da this data is coming uh, from the database. This operation returns an array of customers and this is set to the binding B customers. So the array of customers binding. And then in the actions, <clears throat> basically there's some database connect and in a loop, we are filling the um, array of customers. And there's a local variable, variable L customer array, which is then being returned um, from the operation, which is basically then filled into this B customers binding, which then fills the um, list view of this uh, page. So a quick link again at the application on a smartphone. Here's the list of customers with addresses, phone numbers, text, mobile phone numbers, and you basically can tap on an address here and it will open the Maps app. You can go back to the phone app, tap on the phone number, and it will trigger a call if you like, which is really quite handy when you're on the road. Or you tap on a mobile phone number and you can start writing a text message. 
So this application page here shows you the current GPS position, shows you the longitude and latitude in decimal format. And if you tap on the touch link here, you will be taken to the maps app and it will show you the current position of the device. Thank you for watching this TD mobile video. You can now go ahead and try the sample application on your own. From your smartphone or tablet or even your desktop browser, you can open this URL here. https colon slash slash tdmobile.guptatechnologies.com slash touch app. Enjoy what we have provided there. Thank you again for watching this video about TD Mobile.